Guys, have you ever thought about making your vlogs on a GoPro? I mean, it's so much more compact and so much easier to carry than a mirrorless. But will the image quality and the sound really keep up with a decent camera? I think it's time to figure out. Finally, it's time to use that little thing. I actually bought it in March because GoPro announced their media kit consisting out of a display, an audio mod and a light mod. And even though it was supposed to be released in March, GoPro has postponed it three, four times and now the release date is actually set to August due to delivery problems. The only thing I actually received since then was the audio mod. It's slightly annoying that I actually bought it for vlogging, but the accessories never arrived. But anyways, I would still really like to figure out if a GoPro vlog is actually something with potential just to be able to produce another piece of content in between my regular videos. As we're moving to Norway tomorrow, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to document the first flight after Corona, which might be a bit creepy. I heard they leave every second row empty and also just the process of finally moving to another country. I also went through all of the settings of the camera to tweak it a bit towards a more cinematic outcome. The GoPro standard settings are definitely not anything you should ever go for. I'm just not sure if I should record everything in the wide picture profile or in the linear one. In any case, I'm really looking forward to see you guys tomorrow at the airport and we're trying to make the best out of this thing. I'm really looking forward to move to Norway after our first failed attempt in March and I really cross my fingers that this time everything goes well. It's right now, one hour until we're leaving to the airport. Everything is packed. It took a thousand attempts because we have way too much stuff. We have to get all this to the airport. And the GoPro vlog didn't start that well. The media mod that I was filming on actually generated a high pitch noise, which is a known error. So I had to attach an external mic to the media mod, which makes it a bit redundant to buy it as a microphone. In any case, I hope it fixed the issue. Now we're just waiting for a friend that helps us to get to the airport with all the luggage. And there we first have to get some masks, otherwise we will not be allowed to enter the terminals and go through the check-ins, but I heard they sell it there. We arrived at the airport, everything went quite well. Now we just have to find a shop that sells masks. Between terminal two and three, there should be one, but uh, I haven't been here before, so let's see if I can find that one. All right, that wasn't that successful at the first place. The guards of the airport sent me to another place where I should be able to get a few masks. All right, got the masks. Now back to the luggage, checking in 150 kilos and finally calming down a little. We're flying at 11.50, should arrive at 1.50 in Trondheim. Fingers crossed. All right, security check is done. That went quite smooth. More smooth than I expected. The atmosphere at the airport is a bit creepy nowadays. Everybody's not here for vacation, but just for work purposes or even going home, visiting family, visiting friends. With no people all around, this is a bit like a ghost town. Now we just have to wait the last hour before we're ready to get on the plane. We're still not in the air, everything is pretty much delayed due to having just one runway. Ten more minutes, then we're just half an hour late.
We arrived in Trondheim. Border control was pretty much a breeze. Now it's just about getting our luggage and going to the cabin. We just finally moved to Norway. It feels great. Now that we arrived in Norway, it's time to look back at the pros and cons of how it is to film a whole vlog on a GoPro. After a quite annoying start, this is the setup that I ended up with. Using the original GoPro Media Mod generated a high-pitched noise, which made most of the clips unusable, but just listen to it yourself. We have one hour until we leave that apartment. Basically, everything is packed. I got around the issue by putting my NTG mic on top of the GoPro Media Mod, but that makes the setup quite a bit more heavy and a little less flexible. It's also not possible to put the windshield on the microphone anymore, as it would be constantly in the frame of the 19mm wide-angle lens. Apart from that, the bad low-light capacity was the only other issue. As soon as I started filming in darker places, the footage was pretty much falling apart during the color grading process. But enough of that, let's now have a look at the good stuff. Even with the NTG mic on top of the audio mod, the setup is pretty lightweight and still quite flexible. Way more flexible than carrying around my A7R the whole day with the same microphone on top. But what I thought was most useful for making your vlogs a bit more interesting was the quick capture option that automatically comes with the GoPro. By hitting the record button, the GoPro automatically powers on and starts recording in the last picture profile that you have used before. That turned out to be super useful in situations where you had to be really quick in order to get the shot. Apart from that, the flat color profile left way more room in grading than I expected and the hyper-smooth filming option made finally an end to shaky vlog footage. In my opinion, filming a complete vlog on a GoPro is definitely possible. It doesn't replace a professional setup with different lenses and a more shallow field of depth, but if you just want to tell a quick story and you're just beginning to produce videos, then the GoPro setup is super cheap, super lightweight and really easy to use. I personally have to say that I really enjoy the shallow field of depth of a high-speed lens, but it's more a nice to have and not a necessity. It's definitely possible to produce a decent piece of YouTube content on just this setup and I will definitely incorporate that for the future. It might not be a GoPro-only vlog, but I guess I'm getting away with 80-90% of the shots being shot on a GoPro and for a more sophisticated part of it I could just use the drone or my regular setup. So if you like the video, please make sure to leave a thumb up. Subscribe to the channel maybe we can hit the may goal with 400 subscribers and otherwise we're just settling in Norway I got a few nice shots that I can put in the end and I'll see you in the next week from the cabin at that point we will hopefully also have finally bought a car and go for the first road trips through Norway